Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Is the Surface with Windows RT a good computer? Well, it depends on how you define good or good enough. Not exactly sure why it takes so long to get set up after I've given it the basic information. They're calling it a personal computer, too. By the way, you should look up the definition of computer and operating system, and trust me, it has nothing to do with Photoshop and Microsoft Office. It's installing apps. Not exactly sure why they weren't ready before, but okay. There definitely are parts of the Surface with Windows RT that run fast, fluid, and smooth, just so long as you're not doing too many things at the same time. I, for one, think the weather app works quite well, except for the ad. When anything is happening in the background, you can see the frame rate definitely changes, which tells me Windows RT is definitely not optimized for background tasks. With the Microsoft Fish Tank test, we are pushing 250 fishes across the screen at approximately 24-25 frames per second. Let's go ahead and compare that just briefly with the iPad 4, pushing about 56 frames per second with the same amount of fish. <clears throat> Those fish are clearly biased. I really wish I could run better benchmarks on the Surface with Windows RT, but I can't install anything unless it comes through the store. And for those who say that this is a game that's built on HTML5, well, I thought the whole idea behind Windows 8 and Windows RT is to build an OS that is optimized for HTML5. How about a more graphically intense game from Microsoft Studios, Pinball FX2? Ignore my sucky skills for just a moment and concentrate on that ball's movement. It's definitely not smooth. If this game was anywhere near 60 frames per second, I would be shocked. I could probably show you even more of where the service with Windows RT falls short, but what's the point? You guys don't believe me, even though, well, all the evidence was there for you to watch. I mean, it works. Sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's slow, but it's always Surface with Windows RT. One, two, three. Four, five, nice. Wow, pretty stuttery. Quite a few dropped frames, I would say. Now, the data may be fine. In fact, Bing Maps is pretty awesome. But in terms of the actual on-screen performance, uh, what's that in the background? Why, it's just one of my four Xbox 360s. Ah, the desktop, where performance really shines. Let me go ahead and open up an Explorer window and resize it. You can see the elements flashing and redrawing themselves in front of your very eyes. If that's how Windows RT handles Explorer, how do you think it's going to handle more complicated applications? What's that flashing? Hi, it's just Microsoft Word. There we go. Wow! Will the service with Windows RT improve with software updates? It's possible, but you should never buy technology on a possibility. And for argument's sake, I just wanted to show that I've installed all the latest updates. If you're someone who appreciates features over finish, maybe the service with Windows RT is just fine for you. But there are others who demand more from their $500 plus computer. Now if you pardon me, I'm going to go ahead and rebox my Surface with Windows RT, return it to Microsoft, and start saving my pennies for the Surface Pro, which will probably be about twice as much.